for my kitchen I would like to show you how we can prepare non bread so simple and easy first let's get started with the ingredients we need two cups of flour we need uh, two tablespoons of yogurt we need two tablespoons of vegetable oil and we need one sachet of yeast which is one tablespoon and we need one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon of salt and final ingredients we need three quarter of the cup of warm water so first step what I'm going to do I need a separate bowl I'm going to pour the water here and then add the sugar perfect I'm going to add the yeast okay mix them and then now I'm going to leave them for about 10 minutes separately to raise and make sure the water is warm not cold I'll leave them 10 minutes and I'll skip this part and I'll see you after that okay guys so now this is after 10 minutes now what I'm going to do um, I'm going to add the salt on the flour and mix them and then add the yogurt and add the oil cool. okay and now I'm going to add the yeast and mix the dough very good I'm going to mix it by my hand. Okay, just do it a little bit with this spoon first. So here we have our nice dough. Now I'm going to leave it on this bowl and then leave it for two hours to raise like this cover it uh, with a towel or cling film as you like and leave it to raise in a cool place for about two hours and after that we will complete our mission okay guys so this is after two hours um, first step as you can see the dough is raised now I'm going to dust the table with a little bit of flour and then take the dough and then put it here I'm going to make it like six pieces Perfect. So I'm going to start walking with the first one. I don't want the bread to be very thick and not very thin as well. So I'm going to make them small. Also, you can bake them in the oven if you like. And but for me, which is I feel you know easier, so I'm going to uh, cook them on the cooker. So here we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make all the rest like this and then start baking them on the cooker in a frying pan or if you have the, um, the pan specially for the non bread so you can use it. 
Okay guys, so as you can see, here I have the frying pan. I just heat it a little bit and then uh, now I'm going to add the bread here. Just put the bread here and as I said, you can put them in the oven until they bake. And that will take about five minutes or a bit less maybe. And uh, which is, you know, this is easier when you just made them in on the cooker. So it's easier than the oven. Now I'm going to leave it for about one minute on this side and then I'm going to turn it to the other side as well okay so I'm going to check it oh that's okay so just turn it to the other side and then leave it for about one minute or a bit less as well and uh, I'm going to carry on doing the rest you can make them bigger and you can make them smaller it's up to you and as I said you can just add a little bit of uh, like one teaspoon in in the frying pan if you like of oil uh, but I prefer you know I like my bread to be like this wow look at this mmm that's so yummy it smells absolutely delicious okay so here we go, I have this plate, I'm going to take it and put it here. Okay, so I'm going to show you in another one. So always, always the first, you know, uh, bread take, you know, longer time. So the second one and the third one will take less because of the uh, frying pan is going to be very hot. So, and that will help the bread, so as you can see. Each side now will take about half a minute. Look at this. As you can see, the bubbles start. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at the bread. Very soft and smells so yummy. You can uh, spread a little bit of butter and then eat it. Also, you can serve it with any kind of uh, dish chicken uh, meat or soup with the soup would be so delicious and you can eat it as a sandwich if you like you can make sandwich different sandwich with it because it's very soft and then you can roll it easy so look at this wow Ooh. I love fresh bread it's so delicious when you make it at home it smells so yummy and especially when you make it hot and serve it wow see so that will take less than one minute on each side so I'm going to carry on doing the rest and I'll see you after that. okay guys look at this beautiful delicious naan bread uh, I'm going to end up my video now and uh, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you like this recipe as you can see the bread looks so yummy very tender and you can roll it like sandwich it's very soft you can leave it outside and uh, but make sure you cover it with a cling film or in it put them in a bag and uh, because otherwise they will get dry and uh, thumbs up please share it with your friends and uh, I'm going to list down all the ingredients in the box down in the description for this recipe and I hope if, if you want to try it and uh, just send me a comment if you like this recipe or no and I hope you enjoy it thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye